Well, 2018 was a rough year for the broader markets. One tech-heavy fund stayed above the water. The ARK Innovation Fund ending the year in the green ended is up more than 10% just this month. Joining us now with their top picks to beat the market in 2019 is ARK Invest founder and CEO Kathy Wood. Kathy, it's great to see you. Thanks so, so much for joining us. Thank you. um, you've got a lot of picks. We're going to focus on your top three. Okay. One is one that we've already uh, talked about tonight, and that is Tesla. Tesla. And we are having this discussion about how everybody at the Detroit Auto Show has a has a target on Tesla's back. They want to be in EVs. They want to scale yeah. up. It's are such validation. <laughs> it's such validation. It's so great. I love it. I love it. It's validation. The market is, we believe the transportation industry is going to shift wholesale to electric. And Tesla's ahead of the pack. Why, can't, why the can't a GM or why can't a Ford or why can't any of these automakers with production expertise ramp up production just like Tesla did? Tesla, yeah. People are amazed right. at right. Tesla's ramp. Yes. Why can't they do it? it it's, it's DNA. It's DNA. So Tesla is ahead in three very important categories. It will be very hard to catch Tesla when it comes to battery cost, uh, batteries and battery cost decline, battery technology. Uh, when it comes to artificial intelligence chip, it has its own Everybody else will use NVIDIA, but their design cadence is more like three to five years. Tesla's is every year to two years, so completely different dynamic. And then the third dynamic, which will be really difficult to catch, is the miles of data they have collected from their own customers. Mm -hmm. More than 10 billion, they're adding more than a billion a quarter, well more than a billion a quarter. And I think Google, Waymo, which is the closest behind them, is maybe a hundred to two hundred million miles worth of data. That's what powers an autonomous vehicle and that's where we're going. In terms of the batteries, these car makers, their cost of the battery I presume would be higher because they don't have their own battery factory or is it? I mean are they able to source from other places? So there are two reasons. One, we do believe they need to vertically integrate and uh -huh. Volkswagen just is the first traditional auto manufacturer to announce that it, it uh, will uh, do that. The second is they are all operating with lithium ion pouch batteries, not lithium ion cylindrical batteries that uh, Tesla is. So Tesla is riding down the consumer electronics cost curve, which is much, much lower than that lithium ion pouch. Uh, so, you know, in the early days, no one wanted to do batteries this way. In fact, they made fun of Tesla for building its car on top of cell phone batteries that were going to blow up. Right. They've done an amazing thing from an engineering mm -hmm. point of view. No one else thought was possible. That puts them way ahead of the game. A couple of other uh, picks that you like, or a few other, Square, PayPal in the payment space. Yes. Apple, you like Apple. But in terms of the themes overall in 2019, you also like things like gene editing. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, yes. 3D printing. I mean, you're looking, are these 2019 specific themes or are these themes that have existed in your portfolio from its inception? So the, uh, we have a five-year time horizon. Um, these ideas you're talking about, we just published today in our big ideas report. It's on our site, arc-invest. Um, and yes, uh, we think there are going to be some proof points for gene editing. Um, they were mauled, these stocks, Intellia, Editas, and CRISPR Therapeutics, mauled at the end of last year yeah. because of the crispr twins. Well, this year, we are going to get uh, proof positive, we think, uh, that uh, Editas' uh, therapy is going to help cure pediatric blindness. We should get those results this year. This is not going to So there to are catal specific catalysts to 2019. They have populated human trials. It will take several months, maybe six months, for this gene therapy to uh, you know, really take effect. And then by the end of the year, we should have an answer. It works in mice. It works in non-human primates. We think it's going to work in humans. You know, if I had told you in the late 90s, the tech and telecom bubble, that we were going to see cures for things like blindness and cancer and diabetes, um, my guess is that the three companies with the foundational patents there, which would be the three I mentioned, uh, they would have scaled to $100 billion, you know, dream the dream. They can't even get to $5 billion, the three of them together. This is completely misunderstood technology. Right. One so. last quick question because we're out of time, but this is fascinating to me. 3D printing, mm -hmm. this is something that we had talked about a long time yeah. ago and these yeah. stocks were fads. Mm -hmm. Why 2019? Why is it uh, this year that these things will work? Well, we th uh, for a couple of reasons. The fad was all about consumer. Right. That's not where 3D printing is going. 
uh, 3D printing is being integrated into aerospace companies. It cuts costs, weight. We knew that though. More, a no, few no, years but it's ago. taken the FAA a long time okay. to approve this. So finally, a company like Stratasys is being uh, integrated into Airbus and Boeing uh, planes. These are performance part. Our director of research says every part on a plane is performance part, but they are, they, and that's because they're so much better. And if you combine 3D printing with machine learning or artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. you can cut weight by 75 to 90%. Yeah. These companies, Boeing Airbus, their, their gross margins are in the 15 to 20% range. You get a, a cost cut of 50 to 75% in any one of their parts, that's going to give them an idea. We've got to do this throughout this plane. So they're on 0.1% of these planes right now. They could get to, we think, 20% of the planes. And they go right into by engines. 20, by the end of the year? No, not kind of thing. Or this is over on, no, 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 a this, decade? This is something where we will see these companies talking about 3D uh -huh. printing. And uh, it takes a long time to get into these design cycles. Sure. And what you'll find is a Foreign Labs, which is a private company, 10 times sales. Right. You know, they're dreaming the dream in the private markets. Public market Stratasys is being integrated into these planes, mm -hmm. one and a half times sales. It's crazy. Kathy, fascinating stuff. Mm -hmm. We hope you'll come back sometime soon. Sure. Well, thank you. Thank Kathy Wood of ARK well, Invest. You. What do you think of well, all these themes? You guys want ideas. You just got a whole host mm -hmm. of them. Stratasys is a billion dollar market cap. It's got $350 million in cash and basically no debt. And she just laid out a really brilliant, mm -hmm. uh, you know, next five years for this company. So that's a good idea.